But the Pope's given the thumbs up to a new battery-powered device which measures the hormone levels in a woman's urine and shows a green light when she's not fertile and a red light when she is. So you follow mm, that. Mm. So the way it works is you're having a romantic evening. Mm. Uh, one thing appears to be leading to another. Mm. And just before things start to turn blue, you go, hang on a sec, I'll be needing a urine sample. And once that's been obtained, you dive in with the electronic dipstick <laughs> And if you get the red light, it's hold your horses, Pope says no, Pope will smack. But if you get the green light, it's go for your life, Pope says yes, this one's on me. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't mean to offend, but has the Pope ever, you know, been there? Because, you know, he doesn't like condoms, which are simple and convenient, but he's all for this elaborate chemical experiment. He doesn't want you interrupting what comes natural to quickly go the franger. <laughs> But he's all in favour of pausing for a thorough and exhaustive urinalysis. Because it's so romantic, isn't it? At that special mm. moment, nothing says I love you like whopping a papally approved swizzle stick into a hastily obtained beaker of your partner's number one. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't see it catching on. I'm on your side. And what say you did complete this bizarre ceremony... Mm. But then, in the heat of the moment, just decided to ignore the results and forge on regardless. Mm. Would that constitute running a red light? <laughs> you'd think you'd got away with it, too, until three weeks later you receive an incriminating photo from the Vatican's red light camera.